to 0, 0 into anything is 0 is equal to 3 m minus 2 n, 3 m minus 2 n or you can write this as a 3 m is equal to 2 n. So, we need ratio m by n therefore, m divided by n is equal to 2 divided by 3. So, here also this ratio is positive that means, it is also internal division only. So, here the ratio of division find the ratio in which the line joining two points is divided by y axis means here the ratio of division that is m is to n is equal to 2 is to 3, 2 is to 3. Therefore, the line joining two points is divided by y axis internally in the ratio 2 is to 3. So, like this you can find the ratio of division if the line joining two points is divided by x axis or y axis here by using section formula. So, this is another problem. After this, uh, I will consider some more examples on a midpoint formula, centroid of a triangle and a area of a triangle. The corresponding relations I have given in the last class only. One is a midpoint formula. Midpoint formula is a Suppose, if P is the midpoint of line joining two points, then the coordinates of midpoint P is given by P x comma y is equal to x 1 plus x 2 divided by 2, y 1 plus y 2 divided by 2. This is midpoint formula and uh, centroid of a triangle is given by the coordinates of centroid of a triangle g x comma y is equal to x coordinate is x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 divided by 3 and y coordinate is y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 divided by 3 that is a centroid of a triangle and also you have discussed the formula for area of a triangle also that is a area of a triangle delta is given by half into determinant of x 1, x 2, x 3 that is x coordinates of the vertices points a, b, c that you have to consider in the first row then in second row y coordinates y 1, y 2, y 3 and in third row, we are going to consider 1, 1, 1. That gives the equation for area of a triangle. So, these equations we have discussed in the last class only. On this, uh, today we are going to solve some problems on midpoint formula, centroid of a triangle and also area of a triangle. So, in that, uh, first I will consider the example as find the coordinates of find the coordinates of a midpoint, find the coordinates of a midpoint of the line joining two points, midpoint of the line joining two points say 3 comma minus 1 and 2 comma find the coordinates of midpoint of the line joining two points so 3 comma minus 1 and 2 comma 2 here. So, here two points are given. So, let a 3 comma minus 1 and b 2 comma 2 are the given points. That means, suppose if you consider this is the line joining two points say a and b then you have to find the coordinates of midpoint p x comma y by using midpoint formula here. So, in this the coordinates of the given points is taken as a x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2 here. So, by using midpoint formula the coordinates of midpoint p x comma y is given by formula x 1 plus x 2 divided by 2 and y 1 plus y 2 divided by 2. So, substituting in this uh, we get p x comma y is equal to x 1 plus x 2 divided by 2, x 1 is a 3 here plus x 2 is 2 divided by 2, then y 1 plus y 2, y 1 is minus 1 plus y 2 is 2 divided by 2. So, on simplifying this, uh, we get the coordinates of midpoint p x comma y is equal to 3 plus 2 is 5 divided by 2, here minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 divided by 2. So, the coordinates is uh, 5 by 2 and 1 by 2, these two are the coordinates of the midpoint p here. So, like this you can find the coordinates of uh, midpoint of the line joining two points by using midpoint formula, this is very simple equation. So, 
So, in the same equation, we consider one more problem here. Say, so if uh, p 3 comma minus 2, if p 3 comma minus 2 is the is the midpoint, is the midpoint of the of the line A B, midpoint of the line A B and uh, the coordinates of coordinates of uh, point A is uh, 5 comma 4, coordinates of point A is 5 comma 4, then find the find the coordinates of find the coordinates of point B here, find the coordinates of point B. So, that means, uh, suppose if A B is the line joining two points, say A and B, here I will consider P is the midpoint. So, the coordinates of midpoint is given in this problem, that is 3 comma minus 2 and the coordinates of A is uh, 5 comma 4, then you have to find the coordinates of point B here. So, in midpoint formula, you are going to consider the coordinates of point A as x 1 y 1 and point B as x 2 y 2 and that of midpoint as x comma y here. So, in this, uh, you have to find the coordinates of point B means, uh, that means you have to find x 2 and y 2 in the midpoint formula. So, for this I will use midpoint formula only, that is uh, p x comma y is equal to x 1 plus x 2 divided by 2 comma y 1 plus y 2 divided by 2. So, substituting in this equation, the coordinates of midpoint is a 3 comma minus 2 is equal to x 1 plus x 2, x 1 is 5 here plus x 2 that you have to find out here plus x 2 divided by 2 comma y 1 plus y 2, y 1 is 4 plus y 2 divided by 2. So, by equating the x and y coordinates from left and right hand side, then we get the coordinates of a point B that is x 2 and y 2 here. So, that implies I will equate x coordinate that is a 5 plus x 2 divided by 2 is equal to 3 x coordinate and uh, y coordinate is uh, 4 plus y 2 divided by 2 is equal to minus 2. So, by solving these two, we get the coordinates of uh, point B here. So, that is uh, 5 plus x 2 is equal to 2 into 3 is 6, therefore, x 2 becomes equal to 6 minus 5 that is 1 here. So, coordinate of uh, x 2 is 1. Similarly, here 4 plus y 2 is equal to 2 into minus 2 is minus 4, therefore, y 2 is equal to minus 4 minus 4 becomes minus 8, minus 8. Therefore, the coordinates of point B is a uh, x 2 is 1 here and y 2 is minus 8. So, that is the coordinates of point B in this problem. Like this, you can find the coordinates of uh, point B by using midpoint formula only. That is uh, 1 comma minus 8 we get. So, next problem. find the coordinates of find the coordinates of find the coordinates of centroid of the triangle centroid of the triangle whose vertices are whose vertices are 3 comma 2 5 comma 4 and 4 comma 9. So, here I have to find the coordinates of a centroid of a triangle. So, for that also you know the relation centroid of a triangle g x comma y is given by x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 divided by 3 comma y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 divided by 3. So, here the vertices points of a triangle is given. Now, it will consider that points as a letter a 3 comma 2 b 5 comma 4 
and C 4 comma 9 are the are the vertices of the triangle ok. Vertices means the coordinates of these points I will consider as uh, one is x 1 y 1 other one is x 2 y 2 x 3 y 3. So, here you have to find the coordinates of uh, centroid centroid of a triangle. So, centroid means uh, suppose if we consider this as the triangle A B C. So, centroid means you have to draw medians from these three points. So, the point of intersection of the medians is called centroid G here. So, the coordinates of uh, centroid G x comma y centroid of a triangle A B C G x comma y is given by x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 divided by 3 that is the average of x coordinates of all the three vertices points so, comma y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 divided by 3 that is the average or mean value of uh, y coordinates gives y coordinate of uh, centroid. So, substituting in this we get g x comma y is equal to x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 that is a uh, 3 plus 5 plus 4 x 1 x 2 x 3 3 plus 5 plus 4 divided by 3 comma y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 y 1 is 2 plus y 2 is 4 plus y 3 is 9 divided by 3. So, simplifying this uh, we get g x comma y is equal to 4 plus 3 is 8 plus 12. So, 8 plus 4 is 12 divided by 3. Here 2 plus 4 is a 6 plus a 9 is a 15 divided by 3. So, dividing by 3 we get a g x comma y is equal to 4 comma 5. So, that gives the coordinates of a centroid of a triangle here. So, centroid of the triangle is coordinates of centroid of the triangle is given by g x comma y is equal to 4 comma 5. So, like this you can find the coordinates of centroid by using centroid of a triangle relation. Similarly, I will consider one more problem on this. next problem. Find the centroid find the centroid and uh, area find the centroid and area of the triangle area of the triangle formed by the points formed by the points say 2 comma 5 minus 3 comma minus 2 and uh, 7 comma minus 6. So, here to find both uh, centroid uh, coordinates of centroid of the triangle and also area of a triangle. So, first I will consider the given points as A, B, C whose coordinates are uh, x 1, y 1, x 2, y 2, x 3, y 3. So, here the centroid of the triangle is given by g x comma y is equal to x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 divided by 3 comma y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 divided by 3. So, substituting in this formula we get uh, x 1 is 2 plus x 2 is minus 3 plus x 3 is 7 divided by 3 comma y 1 is 5 plus y 2 is minus 2 plus y 3 is minus 6 divided by 3. So, that we get uh, 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus 7 is a uh, plus 6 divided by 3, 5 minus 2 is 3, minus 3 minus 6 is a uh, minus 3 
divided by 3. Therefore, we get the coordinates of centroid g x comma y is equal to dividing by 3 we get to 2 comma minus 1, 2 comma minus 1. So, that is the coordinates of a centroid of a triangle. So, in this problem also you have to find area of a triangle also. So, for that area of a triangle is given by delta is equal to half into determinant of formula is a x 1 x 2, x 3, y 1, y 2, y 3, 1, 1, 1. So, in that I will substitute the coordinates that is equal to half into determinant of x 1, x 2, x 3, x 1 is 2, x 2 is minus 3 and x 3 is 7, x coordinates of the vertices points. Then y 1, y 2, y 3, y 1 is 5, y 2 is minus 2, and y 3 is minus 6, then in last row you have to write 1 1 1 according to formula. So, by expanding this determinant we get the area of the triangle here. So, that is given by half into, so here expansion of determinant is uh, known to you that you are discussed in the algebra determinants. So, for this uh, I will write the sign convention, first element is plus, uh, second element is minus and third element is plus, plus only. So, here 2 into eliminating the first row and first column, we get uh, minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 minus, minus 6 into 1 is minus 6. So, so minus of minus becomes plus 6 here. Then here minus of minus 3 is plus 3 only into by eliminating first row and second column, we get 5 into 1 is 5 minus uh, minus 6 into 1 is minus 6. So, minus of minus becomes plus 6 plus 7 into eliminating first row and third column, 5 into 1 is 5 minus minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. So, minus of minus becomes plus 2 here. So, simplifying this we get the area of the triangle that is given by half into 2 into minus 2 plus 6 is a plus 4 plus 3 into 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 7 into 5 plus 2 is 7 only. So, that is a half into 2 into 4 is 8 plus 3 into 11 is 33 plus 7 into 7 is 49. So, that is a half into 8 plus 33 that is 41 plus 49 becomes 90 here. So, 90 divided by 2 means uh, we get 45. So, here we have this find the area of the triangle for area is a physical quantity for that you have to write the unit also unit of area is a uh, square units square units. So, that is the area of the triangle here area of the triangle is given by delta is equal to 45 square units. So, like this you can find the centroid and area of the triangle. So, after this I will consider next problem. x problem 3 comma 5 and minus 2 comma 1 are the are the two vertices of a triangle are the two vertices of a triangle and the centroid centroid is a at origin, centroid is at origin, then find the find the coordinates of third vertex, find the coordinates of third vertex, coordinates of third vertex. So, here 
in this problem it is given that uh, centroid of this triangle is it is at origin. So, at origin means uh, we know the coordinates of the origin that is uh, at origin always uh, x and y coordinates are 0 0. That means in this problem the coordinates of centroid g x comma y you have to consider as 0 0. That means suppose if a b c is a triangle in this uh, the coordinates of two vertices points are given. I will consider the coordinate of point A is uh, 3 comma 5 and that of point B is minus 2 comma 1. So, I have to find the coordinates of third vertex C here. Okay. In this uh, the centroid, the coordinates of centroid is given that is uh, if G is the centroid of this triangle, this is centroid G. In this problem, it is given that uh, centroid is at origin. At origin means uh, the coordinates are 0, 0 here. So, here the coordinates of centroid is given 0, 0. Then you have to find the coordinates of the third vertex point C. So, in this uh, the coordinates of the vertices points are consider x1, y1, x2, y2 and third point is x3, y3. So, coordinates of third vertex means you have to find the values of x3 and y3 by using centroid of a triangle formula. So, here we know the relation the coordinates of centroid of the triangle g x comma y is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. So, substituting in this uh, the coordinates of centroid is 0 comma 0 since that point is at origin that is given. So, x1 plus x2, x1 is 3 here plus x2 is minus 2 plus x3 that you have to find out here divided by 3 comma y1, y1 is 5 plus y2 is 1 plus y3 divided by 3. So, by equating x and y coordinates and simplifying we get the values of x3 and y3 here that implies x coordinate is here. 0 is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1 plus x 3 divided by 3 and y coordinate is also 0 is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6 plus y 3 divided by 3. So, transferring this 3 to left hand side that becomes 0 1 plus x 3 is equal to 0 therefore, x 3 is equal to minus 1. Similarly, here 6 plus y 3 is equal to 0 therefore, y 3 is equal to minus 6 here. Therefore, the coordinates of coordinates of a third vertex coordinates of third vertex a c x 3 y 3 is equal to x 3 is minus 1 and y 3 is minus 6. So, that gives the coordinates of a third vertex of the triangle ABC here. So, after this uh, in this chapter uh, there is one more type of problems may be given in the exam that is uh, show that uh, the points are collinear. Exam learn sorry show that the points are collinear and the problem could that. So, collinear and then collinear, collinear means uh, all points should lie on the same straight line, all points should lie on the same straight line. Lie on the same straight line. So, same straight line means uh, suppose uh, this is the line, I will consider three points on the straight line say A, B and C. So, if all three points lie on the same straight line, then these three points are said to be collinear here. Collinear means all points should lie on the same straight line. So, to prove this condition by using distance formula, so if all the points lie on the same straight line means here the geometrical condition becomes uh, A, B plus B, C. A B plus B C should be equal to that is equal to A C. 
a b plus b c should be equal to a c that is the geometrical condition to prove that uh, the given points are collinear that you can prove by using distance formula here you know the equation to find the distance between any two points uh, that is distance formula a b is equal to square root of x 2 minus x 1 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 whole square. So, by using distance formula you can prove that the points are given points are collinear or uh, you can prove in another method also. Another method is, uh, is uh, suppose if all the three points lie on the same straight line means uh, here uh, the triangle cannot be constructed by using this points here. So, triangle cannot be constructed means uh, then if you find the if you consider these three are the vertices of the triangle then the area of this triangle should be equal to 0 here since triangle is not considered according to condition here the sum of the two in any triangle the sum of the two sides should be greater than third side agarabe. So, but in line sum of the two sides a b plus b c is equal to third side a c agarabe the triangle form agarabe therefore uh, in this uh, area of the triangle is always equal to 0. So, I'll points are collinear and the prove mode becker, the word condition layout becker prove mode of the first one and the distance formula use mode condo a b plus b c is equal to a c and the prove mode points are collinear and the our second method and the area of the triangle is equal to 0 and the torus here that also proves that uh, the points are collinear. So, either may little on the example to one thing on example on this. show that uh, the points show that the points uh, a 4 comma 3 b 1 comma 1 and c minus 2 comma minus 1 show that the points a 4 comma 3 b 1 comma 1 and c minus 2 comma minus 1 are collinear are collinear. So, these points are collinear and the prove Collinear means uh, all points should lie on the same straight line. Suppose this is A, B and C. If there are more points so one day straight line and then these three points are said to be collinear. So, this is the first non method. Alle. First method is distance formula is to prove the collinear property. Na. So, distance formula and the distance is calculated K, B, B, C and A, C. For that, I uh, will consider the given points as a uh, that is given that a 4 comma 3 b 1 comma 1 and c minus 2 comma minus 1 are the given points and then distance between the points say a b is equal to square root of distance formula x 2 minus x 1 this is first point this is second point either coordinates to so x 1 y 1 this is x 2 y 2. So, x 2 minus x 1 another 1 minus 4 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 1 minus 3 whole square. So, I can simplify madara that is equal to square root of 1 minus 4 is minus 3 whole square madara plus 9 plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2 square and there plus 4 that becomes a square root of 13 9 plus 4 either distance a b i to next to b c is equal to square root of b and c b is the first point to c is the second point and the third either coordinates x 1 y 1 this is x 2 y 2. So, according to distance formula x 2 minus x 1 under minus 2 minus 1 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 y 2 is minus 1 y 1 is 1. So, minus 1 minus 1 whole square that becomes a square root of minus 2 minus 1 under minus 3 square matter plus 9 agatha plus minus 1 minus 1 becomes minus 2 square and there plus 4. So, that is equal to square root of 13 but that is distance B C. Next I will consider I will calculate the distance A C here. So, A C is equal to square root of x A is the first point and C is the second point. So, A point A the coordinates x 1 y 1 other point C the coordinates so x 2 y 2 agatha according to distance formula x 2 minus x 1 other minus 2 minus 4 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1, y 2 is minus 1, y 1 is 3. So, minus 3 whole square that is equal to square root of minus 2 minus 4 and minus 6 so whole square and there plus 36 plus minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 whole square is plus 16. So, that is equal to square root of 36 plus 16 and there 52. 
52. So, in order to the end condition you prove by collinear and then AB plus BC is equal to AC. Some of the two sides should be equal to third side and that is a I will consider here AB therefore, AB plus BC is equal to AB is a square root of 13 plus BC is a square root of 13. So, if we are going to add mode again, 2 root 13 and the variable 2 root 13. So, 2 root 13 means uh, that is equal to square root of 2 na square root in the organ at the end 4 and the variable square root of 4 is equal to 2 and the variable into 13. So, that is square root of 4 into 13 and the variable 52 square root of 52. So, here by observation square root of 52 is nothing but AC that is equal to AC aggregate. Okay. So, I learn condition prove it other AB plus BC is equal to AC and the prove it hence the points are collinear. Hence, the points are A, B, C are collinear. So, like this, you can prove collinearity property by using distance formula. So, distance formula that is really A, B plus B, C is equal to A, C and the prove matter that shows that the points are collinear. Similarly, you can prove in another method also. Another method under in the prove matter really area of a triangle is equal to zero and the prove matter that also shows that the points are collinear. So, I will second method alu prove mark torsi nimge area of a triangle is equal to 0 anta. So, I will a b c coordinates koti dharal points so, adhan vertices of the triangle anthi ni wa zoom mark kondre a triangle the area calculate mark the area in barbe kadre that should be equal to 0 agira vikili. So, area find out mark gothi nimge area of a triangle formula second method dal. Another method is a r a area of a triangle delta is equal to half into in formula is mark Determinant of x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1. So, either coordinates on a substitute model that is equal to half into x1, x2, x3, a, b, c the coordinates, x coordinates 4, 1, minus 2, y1, y2, y3 that is 3, 1, minus 1, third row only 1, 1, 1. So, I give determinant to expand the area breadth that is equal to half into sign convention plus 2 minus 2 plus 2. So, that is 4 into first row first column eliminate matter 1 minus of minus of plus 1 agatha minus 1 into first row second column eliminate matter 3 minus of minus 1 and plus 1 minus 2 into first row third column eliminate matter 3 minus 1. So, I then simplify matter that is equal to half into 1 plus 1 is 2 into 4, 2 into 4 is 8, 3 plus 1 is 4 into minus 1 and the minus 4, 3 minus 1 is 2 into minus 2 and the minus 4. So, that is equal to half into 8 minus 8, 8 minus 8 is 0 into anything is 0 here. Therefore, area of a triangle is equal to 0 and the bantha. So, since uh, area of a triangle is uh, 0, the points are collinear, points are collinear on the end. So, this is another method. Second method on the just the area of a triangle is equal to 0 on the prove matter that also shows that the given points are collinear on the okay. So, show that the points are collinear on the quota, you have to follow method by karo, follow mode bodily. Distance formula use mode adro show mod bodo or area of a triangle is equal to 0 on the prove mod that also shows that the points are collinear on So, I will make another problem consider mod ki. Another problem. If the points, if the points are one comma one minus two comma k and uh, minus eight comma seven are collinear, if the points are collinear, then then find the value of find the value of k here. So, k value in the k 
calculate the given points are given points are collinear. So, points are collinear means all the points should lie on the same straight line. So, points are collinear, area of the triangle is 0. So, I will direct consider the area of a triangle delta is equal to 0 that is given since the points are collinear points are collinear and the cotero did the area of a triangle is equal to zero on the consider model no. so area of a triangle after a calculate material the formula go to the that is a uh, given by half into determinant of x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 is equal to zero area of a triangle formula so in this uh, 1 by 2 half is like the now right hand side get transfer model in agatha is zero error did the Okay, 0 into anything is 0 agatha. Therefore, you can write uh, determinant of x1 or you can write determinant of x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1 is equal to 0. So, generally coordinates and substitute mode simplify mode really constant k value in the brethren. So, I coordinates uh, x1, x coordinates are first row null barko vekile points though no? not 1 minus 2 minus 8 is the first row 1 minus 2 minus i to x coordinates so, then y coordinates is uh, 1 k 7 the y coordinates so, third row only 1 1 1 is equal to 0 so just to give determinant to expand mode is solve mode a constant k value in the brethren so that is given by expand mode again but 1 into first row first column eliminate mode k minus 7 agatha minus zero the plus agathido plus two into plus two into first row second column eliminate madara one minus seven minus eight into first row third column eliminate madara one minus k is equal to zero. So I then simplify madaga k minus seven one is the multiply madaga. 1 minus 7 is minus 6 so into 2 on the minus 12 minus 8 is the multiply matter minus 8 minus of minus plus 8k is equal to 0. So 8k plus 1k and the 9k agathido minus 7 no minus 12 minus 19 no minus 8 because agatha minus 27 is equal to 0. So I lay 27 akada transfer matter therefore 9k is equal to plus 27 that implies k is equal to n by 27 divided by 9 that is equal to 3 therefore the value of k is a constant k is equal to 3 so like this you can find the value of constant k if the given points are collinear by using a area of a triangle relation so, the points are collinear at the kotaga area of a triangle is equal to 0 on the consider made. Either the coordinates on a substitute mode simplify mode the constant k value breadth. Okay. So, that is about uh, problems on a midpoint formula, centroid of a triangle, and area of a triangle. So, after this, uh, this basic concept chapel begin on small concept that is a locus of a point, okay. locus of a point and its equation. So, next is a locus of a point and its equation. Locus of a point and its equation. So, the locus of a point and the author define Matthew Locus means that is the path traced out by the point. You know, other one point in a certain geometrical condition only move Madaga at the end path trace Agarata that is called locus. So, locus of a point and the path traced out by the point when it is moved under a given geometrical condition. Geometrical condition is suppose delay on the example Tontine. A point P is moved such that uh, it is always at equidistance from the fixed point and it could. If you gather on fixed point A, then assume that point A is then on point P na move at a 
ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇವೆರಡರ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ಅಸೂಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಕ್ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿನ ನಾವು ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಇದು ಯಾವ ಥರ ಮೂವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಥರ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಪಾತ್ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಇದನ್ನು ಲೋಕಸ್ ಅಂತ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಜೊಮೆಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಏನು ತೊಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇದು ಇದು ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಲು ಇದನ್ನು ಲೋಕಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತೀವಿ ಆರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತ ಅಸೂಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಟೂ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅಸೂಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸೊ ಇವೆರಡು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ನ ನಾವು ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಇವೆರಡು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿನ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಬಟ್ ಈ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸು ಸೇಮ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಇವೆರಡು ಸೊ ಇದು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋ ಥರ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ನ ಪಿ ನಮ್ಮ ನಾವು ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಪಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬೈ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಎ ಬಿನ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಬರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಪಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬೈ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ನ ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅವಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಲೈನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಪಾತ್ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನು ಲೋಕಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಟೂ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಪರ್ಪಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬೈ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಔಟ್ ವೈ ದಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದರದ್ದು ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ನ ನಾವು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಯಾವ ಥರ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೊಂದು ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಪಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ ವೈ ಬಿ ಎನಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅಸೂಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕಮ ವೈ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದು ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಎನಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಅಂತ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಇದನ್ನು ಯಾವ ಥರ ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಜೊಮೆಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಬರೀತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಸಚ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಆರ್ ಅಂತ ಅಸೂಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಜೊಮೆಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಜೊಮೆಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿದು ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಫ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡೋದು ಒಂದು ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಅಂತ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಕೇಸಲ್ಲ
is the fixed point or given point. So, I will condition n barkontira, then condition is a distance between these two points a p should be equal to 10 units, a p is equal to 10 that is given geometrical condition. So, I give distance a p na calculate mark on the solve mark on the equation but then get as a distance formula is marked. So, r squaring on both sides you can write this one as a p square is equal to 10 square. So, a p and the but the point a the coordinates you know that is 5 comma minus 6 and the point p the coordinates are x comma y. So, distance between these two points you know calculate mark on distance formula is marked. So, a p is equal to square root of x 2 minus x 1 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 whole square. Will a p square or the square root cancel again again. Just x 2 minus x 1 but either coordinates x 1 y 1 this is x 2 y 2. So, x 2 minus x 1 is a x minus 5 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 that is y minus of minus under plus 6 whole square is equal to 10 square. So, then simplify mode. Simplify mode again a minus b whole square formula will expand mode a square that is x square plus b square under 25 minus 2 a b. So, minus 2 a b under 2 into 5 is 10 x baratil. Similarly, a plus b whole square plus y square plus 6 square under 36 plus 2 a b under 12 y is equal to 10 square under 100. So, simplifying this you can write x square plus y square minus 10 x plus 12 y 25 plus 36 let us get 25 plus 36 50 61 Illi 100 is in the current on transformer quota minus 100. So, plus 51 minus 100 and minus 49 is equal to 0. That is equation to the locus here. So, equation to the locus is x square plus y square minus 10 x plus 12 y minus 49 is equal to 0. This is the one type of signal single point quota equation to the circle. Other than the two fixed points quota, then we get the equation of straight line. So, that is one example. Next problem, find the equation to the locus of a point uh, which moves such that, find the equation to the locus of a point which moves such that uh, its distance from points, its distance from points 2 comma 4 and uh, 8 comma 10 are equal. So, every two points is the equal distance of the move. This is the equation find out the same procedure. Let p x comma y be any point on the locus, any point on the locus and uh, say a 2 comma 4, b 8 comma 10 are the given points, are the given points. So, I will condition you know this point is equidistance or distance from these two points are equal means uh, that is uh, a p should be equal to b p distance between these two points is same. So, squaring on both sides you can write a p square is equal to b p square. So, I lost a p and b p na calculate maadake distance formula is maadake that is given by x 2 minus x 1 a p this is second point. Uh, so, x minus 2 whole square plus y 2 minus y 1 that is y minus 4 whole square is equal to b p square. So, b p is a x minus 8 whole square plus y minus 10 whole square. So, just then simplify matter x square plus 4 minus 4 x plus y square plus 16 minus 8 y is equal to x square plus 64 minus 16 x plus y square plus 100 10 square minus 20 y. So, in this x square x square gets cancels y square y square gets cancels. So, here minus 4 x minus 8 y plus 4 plus 16 plus 20 is equal to minus 16 x minus 20 y 64 plus 100 164 or either transform 
plus 16 x o minus 4 x means 12 x plus 20 y minus 8 y that is plus 12 y plus 20 minus 164 that is minus 144 is equal to 0 that is equation to the locus or is in a dividing by 12 model you can write this equation as x plus y minus 12 is equal to 0 both are same. So, here you get the equation to the straight line since uh, this point is moved such that it is equidistant from two fixed point means uh, that we get the locus of the point is a perpendicular bisector here that is a straight line x plus y minus 12 is equal to 0. So, that gives the equation to the locus. So, it really equation locus of a point and the path traced out with the point is called locus of a point and the LT. Other limit syllabus the one fixed point is the equal distance of movement the circle barata, two fixed point is the equal distance of movement the perpendicular bisector barata. So, where do the equation of find out the equation to the locus and the other the real problems and discuss money. So, with this uh, that completes uh, the first chapter of analytical geometry that is a uh, basic concepts and so, basic concepts of analytical geometry you know, mainly you know, the equations you know, discuss one the distance formula and other one is section formula and the other one is the problems. So, this is very simple in this chapter in the exam you know, 5 marks questions to 2 questions you know, that is for 10 marks but the 2 marks questions to 1 question you know, 2 marks. So, 10 plus 2 and the total 12 marks cover in this chapter you know, basic concepts. You know. So, last three classes I have discussed in the last three classes, you will prepare for the easy way to score the score in the final exam. So, 5 marks to 2 questions, 2 marks to 1 question. So, I will get this chapter complete. Next class, we are going to discuss about the second chapter in analytical geometry that is straight lines. So, that I will take up in the next class. Thank you.